thank you so much for tuning into Amy's Crypt. Today we're going to be discussing a true and very odd and scary experience that Jared once had where he was almost abducted by aliens. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> now that sounds really really like weird and crazy but this is a real true story and I want to set the mood. So this happened maybe like seven to 10 years ago. It was mm -hmm. it was a long, long time ago. It happened while I was spending the night. You were still living at your folks, right? Yep. So I don't even think I was allowed to sleep over, but... You did. <laughs> <laughs> we did anyway. So we were sleeping over and I just, I kind of want you to tell everyone about this experience in your own words. So starting from the start, like when we went to bed. We uh, went to bed. I don't remember much about what happened before going to bed. I just remember what happened you know, the event that happened that I'm about to tell you about. So I remember either waking up or I couldn't sleep, one or the other, but I was, I was awake. I was lying in bed awake. I remember looking at the alarm clock, like I had one of those little digital alarm clocks that sit on the bedside table. Um, and I remember it was early hours of the morning and I rolled on my back and I was just frustrated that I couldn't sleep. Amy was asleep next to me. And then I heard this droning sound like a, <laughs> That's what it sounded like. Anyway, I heard the sound. I then realized that I couldn't move. So I was just laying in bed. So almost like your sleep paralysis story where I was laying there and I couldn't move. And I remember it was so, like, you know, like it was so vivid. I remember specifically, um, you know, looking around the room with my eyes like this. And I could see you, like Amy sleeping there. And I could see my pet dog, like who's asleep in the corner of the room on the floor. Like I could see him and I'm just like looking at my I can't move. And then all of a sudden I started levitating out of the bed and then moving to the side of the bed and like vertically coming up. So I'm hovering probably about a foot off the floor and I'm straight up like this. And then my door just opened ever so silently and my body just started gliding out the door down the hallway in my house. And at this point I was freaking out, I was trying to scream and all, I, all that was coming out was like <laughs> like I couldn't scream. I'm floating down the hallway past the kitchen. I remember so vividly seeing like the microwave the clock and everything was so clear. And that's when Amy woke me up and I was like in bed like going crazy. <laughs> um, it's true. And that's the story. And I, I think that's probably the scariest, I'm gonna call it a dream even though we're calling it an alien abduction story. But mm. I'm gonna say dream, but that's probably the scariest dream I've ever had. I, when you woke me up, I think, I didn't I grab you or like hold you or something? Yeah, <laughs> you were very scared. I was like, <laughs> like she, she'd saved my life essentially. So, so yeah. what I remember of like this whole episode is it was a really, really normal night. Knowing us, we probably went to like blockbuster video and yeah. like just stayed up late watching movie movies. Night, yeah. But yeah, we went, to, we went to sleep and I went out like a light. Like I had no, no trouble sleeping at all, but I, I guess, yeah, it would have been the early hours of the morning, like I guess around 3am, I don't know the actual time, but I was awoken because Jared started moving in bed. Like he, he was on his back like this, but he was kind of like gasping for air and like he was being choked or something. Mm. So you were like, Aah! you were making that exact noise that like you were trying to like breathe in or maybe not that exact noise. I don't know. You're trying to breathe in or scream like it was actually terrifying for me as well. And I didn't know what to do. So I was just like, oh, Jared, like, wake up. So I woke him up. And as soon as you woke up, you were just like sweating. You were panting, like stressed, anxiety. Yeah. And then, yeah, I think you just gave me a big cuddle and mm. you were just like, oh my God, I almost got abducted by aliens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's interesting. What would have happened if I, if you hadn't have woke me up and I kept gliding and then the front door opened and I went out the front door, like what would have happened? Would I have met who was on the other side? I don't know. Or what? But something was pulling me out. It was so weird and I couldn't make any noise. I couldn't scream for help. Even though I'm calling it a dream now, it was so clear. The clock, the, the sound, the light, the layout of the house. You know when you dream and you have a dream that you're so in your very house. Vivid. Yeah, you know how you have a dream, you're in your house, but it's a different layout to the real world house that you live in. Mm. Well, this was like perfect. Everything was perfect and it matched my house exactly. The dog was in its place, you were in its place. Everything, all the, furni <laughs> I was in all the furniture was in there, the place that they were supposed to be. All right, so had you ever had this before? Like, 
Never. Once no. off. And I've never had it since. This was a one-time thing. So you've never had it before, you've never no. had it since. Never had a alien abduction dream since. Do you think that this was like an alien abduction or it was, you say you think it was a dream, do you think it was sleep paralysis maybe? I or? think it's a dream. I mean, it could be a, a form of sleep paralysis, I suppose. I couldn't move. Although I was moving in my dream though, that's the difference between it though, right? But uh, yeah, I mean, I would say it's a dream, but um, yeah, I don't know, like a lot of people um, that have alien, alien abduction stories are just told, oh, you're just dreaming, you're just dreaming. So who knows, maybe there is more going on. But I guess you physically woke me up and I was physically laying in bed, so maybe not. So this really scared you, right? Mm. You were scared. Mm -hmm. What did you think, like in that moment when you were levitating or you were floating through the house or whatever, like what did you think was happening or did you feel like you were going to someone? I didn't actually feel like, I don't think in the moment I was thinking, oh my God, I'm getting abducted by aliens. I think I was more frightened by the inability to move and, you know, just floating through a dark house with no lights on or anything like that. Like it, it just seemed like that, that thought was scaring me most. I wasn't like expecting to see green men um, out the front and I wasn't even thinking about that. I was more worried about I'm floating and I'm floating at the house. That's what was scaring me the most. So you heard that noise in that outside. Did you think that you were going towards that noise or? No, I heard the noise in the window, but as I went down deeper into the house, I couldn't hear that noise as much. But again, I wasn't thinking aliens. Um, it's just weird. I, I sort of remembered that noise after the fact when I woke up, I remember hearing that noise. When I heard it in the moment, when I was looking at my alarm clock and I heard that noise um, outside, I think I just thought it was a car or something. And it wasn't that I, until I started floating that I realized that something was wrong. So for us, I guess then aliens were an afterthought when you were like, yeah, describe, like yeah. you described this to me. Yeah, it yeah. Sounds I, like I, very much like an abduction. Yeah, yeah. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't think in the dream, oh my god, I'm being abducted by aliens. I thought just crap, what the hell's happening to me? I'm floating at the house. Um, and then it wasn't like when I when I tried to deconstruct the dream that it sounded a lot like aliens with the humming noise, with the the um, the light coming through the shade, um, the floating through the house. Um, yeah. All right, Jared, did you know it's actually very, very common for people to have this type of experience? So they'll, you know, they'll have some weird type of sleep interruption where they're taken from their beds, they levitate, they float, they actually go up into the spaceship, they get abducted by the alien. Probed. Probed. <laughs> Pity you didn't get probed, you got yes, big, woken too soon from the pity dream. I got probed. Why did you wake me? <laughs> Wait, what were you talking about? I was just asking, did you know that that is kind of common? Oh, um, no, I didn't know that. Oh, so, I, I know that people always have stories that they've been abducted and that, and I, I, I would have assumed that, I've always assumed that some of those have been tied to sleep. But Yeah, I think it's like 60% of people who report to have alien abductions are linked to sleep so whether that is a dream thing or there's something going on mm. deeper there that we don't understand or can comprehend i don't know i also want to like pose a question so for me and probably a lot of people and maybe you you think of alien abduction as a really physical thing so you know, essentially your your body getting sucked up into a spaceship where, where you get probed or they do experiments on you, whatever it is that they do up there, I don't know. But you think of it's like you're actually being physically taken. What if, bear with me, like, what if alien abduction is more of like a psychological thing? So it's like them almost like hijacking your consciousness or your mind and that is all they need to do their little experiments or tests. So or... The, uh, the aliens are real, it's not a dream, but they're taking my life force mm. instead of my Whatever body. Whatever you want to call it, yeah. So maybe I really did get abducted, but not my physical body. And you or... wake me up, brought my life force back, is that what you mean? I like how you call it life force. Life force. Life Soul force. or like your ghost got Calling the name out. is correct, the word life force. <laughs> Um, hmm, yeah, I don't know. I hadn't given that much thought, maybe. Because this happens to a lot of people, right? Like, you, yeah. do you believe in aliens or abductions or...? I think aliens... So my, my, like, scientific sort of cap on now, I've always been of the thought that aliens likely... It's not a case of whether they exist or not, it's a case of when and where, because the, the universe is so old and the concept of time is so weird, it's not linear, that aliens probably do exist at some point in time in some place in the universe right 
That's my belief. But given, given how big the universe is and how much we're expanding um, and how in some parts of the universe time is faster and slower than other parts and so on, I just think it's highly unlikely that they have visited us at this time right now, the time that humans are present on the Earth. I think it's very unlikely. That we've crossed paths. That we've crossed paths. So I don't think I was abducted. I think it was a dream. All right, also, like what the heck does an alien want with you? No offense. <laughs> I could think of a few reasons. Such as? Intellectual, you know, <laughs> capacity, experiments, um, you know. Okay, they get mm, you to like mm, program mm, ghost appearance, hunting apps you know? on the spaceship. <laughs> maybe, they needed a, maybe they needed a developer. Mm. Yeah, maybe. Mm. All right, so my next question is, you think this is some kind of dream, whether it's sleep paralysis or, you know, a, a different form of like weird sleep like hallucination. Do you think that your what you experienced and went through could have been influenced by the media that you consume today? So for instance, right, so I've had sleep paralysis and I have shared this video on my channel, I'll link it below if you guys want to check it out. But my sleep paralysis is like a horror movie mm. right and i'm a big horror fan i love like all i watch is horror movies right <laughs> uh but yeah mine was like a hag like an old lady like coming and eating me whereas yours is more like sci-fi and i would mm. say you can see more sci-fi things like you're a big x-files fan right not really i mean when i was a kid we watched it a lot but i don't watch it now but i mean that might have stuck with you but yes there is one scene in particular where i think Mulder's sister's getting like floating out the room and it actually does bear a lot of resemblance to my experience to be honest So, yeah, maybe. Do you think then that, you know, having that at the forefront of your brain could influence your dreams? So say you're dreaming this like alien abduction thing, but people hundreds of years ago, do you think they would have dreamt that? Like, would they have had those concepts in their mind? Yeah, like an Egyptian person or a caveman or something. Yeah, I mean, mm. maybe they dreamed similar things. Or... Yeah, well, we'll never know, will we? Well, I mean, maybe like, you know, I'm pretty sure they've had documented, you know, dreams and sleep paralysis episodes a long, long time ago, and they mostly centered around like witches and trolls and stuff mm. like that, mm -hmm. so. Yeah, and I guess witches and, and trolls was a thing, right, around that time. Yeah, like through like stories a scary and thing folklore. And folklore, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Now, you haven't had this since, right? No. If you had the opportunity to. Would you want to experience this again? I'm going to say no because, you know, when you're in a dream, I know some people say they can lucid dream and they know that they're in a dream, but I think when you're in a dream, uh, even though it seems so surreal what's happening or where you are or the situation you're in, sometimes it's hard identifying that it's a dream. I don't know why your, your brain does this, but it sort of masks you from the fact that what you're experiencing is likely not real and you just think it's real. So. Um, if I could do the experience in real life and know that it was simulated and just a dream, then sure. But I think if I was in that dream again, I wouldn't know that it's a dream again. I'd be just as scared and react in the same way. But I don't know, maybe I would get the dream again and be like, oh, this is just a dream. I've done this before. Let's see what's, to, let's see what's outside. In the, All right, yeah. my other question to you is, let's say this happened to you when I wasn't there. Mm. You didn't have someone to pull you out. You didn't have someone to wake you up. What do you think would have happened? Are you scared about that? Mm, I don't know. I think it would have been interesting to see what was on the other side of the door. But at the time, I really didn't want to know. Like, I was just freaking out because I was floating. It would be interesting because you woke me up, but it sounds like, you know, you described me as shaking around and being funny. You would think that in itself would wake a person up, you know, like struggling to breathe and convulsing. Um, but it didn't wake me up. You had to pull me out of it. You were asleep when mm. that was happening. I feel bad almost, like I should have just left you to it. Like mm. you were right there at the climax of the movie and I pulled you out. <laughs> mm. oh. Yep. I uh, saved your life. Now so. we've only got half an episode because I can only talk about the first half. Yeah, mm. a, but I'm just gonna say like, I totally saved you, didn't I? I saved your life. Yeah, and then when I like woke up and hugged you and thanks, you're like, get off. <laughs> I'm going back to sleep. <laughs> Do you have anything else that you want to input, Jared? Mm, all I will say is that it's kind of cool reflecting on it now um, after the fact, but it was really creepy. 
and I'd be interested to know if other people have had similar sort of experiences like abduction stories or weird dreams where they felt like they were being abducted and I'd want to know what people think. Do they think I was abducted? Do they think it was a dream? Obviously, you know my thoughts on it. <clears throat> but yeah. Leave a comment, guys. That'd be cool, yeah, leave a comment. We, we love to hear yeah. from you and yeah, maybe people have similar stories, I don't know. And at the time of filming this bit right here, we haven't yet filmed the intro and stuff, which you guys would have already oh seen. Oh my god. But we've been, like, the two of us have been brainstorming for hours how we're going to pull it off. And I can tell you now, it's either going to look really bad, or... It's, it's going to look, look really good. <laughs> or it's going to look really good. Uh, either way, it's going to take both of us a lot of time, effort, and retakes to film. So I hope you appreciated it. But, um, yeah, let us know. Guys, have you had similar experiences? I know that on my last sleep paralysis video, like, heaps of people, you know, shared their experiences with me, and that was amazing. Like, thank you to everyone that did that. But this one is specific to aliens, I guess. And it may be, like, you have a story that's not related to sleep. Like, that is even more interesting, I think, mm. as well. So please, please share them. But, yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, that's a, a good point. Like, the people who have had experiences during the day, not in their sleep. That would be cool yeah. to hear. Mm -hmm. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you want to read about all of the haunted places I've visited from around the world, head to amyscrypt.com. You guys can also follow me at amyscrypt on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I also post bonus content on my Patreon and YouTube memberships, which are linked below. But thank you so much for watching, Crypt Peepers. Until next time.